Okay, folks, and here we are in my garden, and I wanted to share with you a very huge orchid haul that I did about two months ago, and this was actually an orchid rescue haul. So I was orchid hunting on Craigslist, and I did happen upon a gentleman that had recently acquired all of his mother's entire orchid collection. Now the gentleman was not so thrilled about that. As a matter of fact, he did not care for orchids at all, so the orchids were abandoned, and yes, they were neglected. And the gentleman just wanted to get them off of his hands. So indeed, I was able to rescue almost 30 orchids. Yes, I saved him from the hands of that very mean gentleman that did not like orchids at all. Shame on him. I did not even believe that was possible. But to be honest with you, I really can't complain. Because of his evil orchid ways, I was actually able to discover many, many treasures. This is what I like to call my diamonds in the rough. So because he had no desire to keep any of these orchids, I did get them at a pretty good deal. Majority of these orchids I did purchase between five or six dollars. There were some very, very large ones in which I obtained them for ten dollars. So again, pretty good deal on these. And here's one of the orchids that I did obtain for $10. And as you can see, it is at a Humunga Dunga Wunga size, and she stands at a good three feet tall. So indeed, for $10, such a great deal. And even though I did get these orchids at such an amazing deal, I have to tell you I was very saddened to know that each and every one of these orchids right here did not have a tag. So each and every one of these are UFO orchids, unidentified yet still very fabulous orchids. They are nameless. So I will actually have to wait until they bloom to find out what they are. But I'm going to be patient, folks, and it's going to be a delightful orchid surprise. So I am anticipating for each and every one of these to bloom so that I can find out exactly what they are. And as I stated, these orchids were abandoned and neglected and pretty much just left to fend for themselves. So you are going to see some extreme burnings indicating that, yeah, they were left in direct sunlight or just very high exposure to light. But regardless, they were burned pretty, pretty badly. Also, when I first received these, I noticed some shriveling and a lot of wrinkling in the pseudobulbs. So that indicated to me that they were not getting appropriate watering as well. But other than that, they seemed in good condition and indeed savable. So I stepped up to the challenge and I decided to rescue these orchids. I have such a compassionate heart when it comes to orchids and indeed if I can save them I will try my best to do so. And two months later, I do have to say, we have accomplished and made progress with leaps and bounds. Because even though you're seeing some scarring in these orchids, if you only seen them when I first got them, oh my, atrocious, I'm telling you. So yeah, they've come a long way and so long in fact, let us take a closer look and see exactly how they're doing now. And if we look throughout the orchids, we will find that there are some actually in spike, like this guy right here. And if we take a look over here, it also has some more buds. So yeah, the blooming process has started, and here in a little while, we'll at least find out what this is. And here's yet another one that is also budding right there. And taking a look at the buds, I am assuming that this is going to be an alba color, either green or white. At least that's what I'm expecting. I'm excited to see exactly what this one is as well. And if we take a look right here, there are these two deeply colored buds. And let's take a look over here. What do we find? This one in particular is just now coming into bloom. Very dark magenta color right here and as soon as she fully opens I will do my investigations. Indeed Sherlock Maria will be on the case. And also looking throughout we will find that many are coming into sheath such as this particular orchid right here which I believe is some sort of Beringiana because of the form and the way it creates its pseudobulb. So indeed, that's what I'm thinking this is. And soon and very soon, we will find out she actually has two 
that are beginning to sheath. And looking through here, we will also find some more that are coming into sheath. And these particular orchids right here, I do believe, are some form of Brassavola types. And here's a sheath, and also here's a sheath. Yet another sheath, and another sheath right here. And one on this very compact growing orchid. You can see it right there. And I'm so excited to see what this one is, because I really don't know what it could be. Look at that, but so small and compact. And right here is another very large orchid, and I'm hoping that this too is a Beringiana type. I'm actually hoping that they're different varieties because I did get about three of them. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed on that one. But if we take a look, we will also find that they are also sheathing as well. There's one, and if we take a look over here, there's another one. Can you see it? Right there. Yep, also sheathing. And I actually had a couple of them that came into bloom, actually two of them. This one in particular bloomed a very nice mellow yellow color and had about seven blooms on that spike. Also, I had this one in particular right there, pretty nice size bloom on this one, and it was a pink and white one that was very fragrant. So indeed, not a bad investment at all on these rescue orchids. After all, I'm already receiving and reaping the rewards, and I can expect to receive many, many, many more in the many, 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 many years to come. And there you have it, folks. That is my complete orchid rescue haul. Now, you guys have got to give me your honest opinion on what you guys think about this orchid rescue, and also tell me if you guys would have done such a thing. Also, I want to know if you guys have resorted to alternative methods as well, such as your Craigslist, such as your offer up, and even yard sales, because I have found some pretty great deals there as well. So let me know where you guys have also found your orchids. And make sure you post those comments below because, folks, I am not into mental telepathy. So post those comments below so I know. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures. And as you guys already know, I'm talking about you, 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 and you, 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 that I do truly love you guys all. Mwah.